So here's what I'm going to do. Hey guys, back to the doghouse. Today I'm going to do something a little different again. Uh, I bought some fire extinguishers for the shop. Uh, you can never be too careful. I'm seeing I'm going to start grinding and hacking and welding and this sort of stuff on the, on the old Buick. We're going to pick up a couple fire extinguishers. I picked up five of them. <laughs> you never know. I got, I got uh, two 10 pounders. And I got three five pounders. Now a couple of the five pounders I put in the house. The ten pounders I'm gonna put around the shop. I got a little one over there on the little five pounder on the uh, the post of my my hoist over there. But uh, I'd rather have more than less. So here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I got it all cleaned off. I'm not going to bother grinding it. I'm just, I'm just going to bend them up the way they are. So, so the brackets are going to go here, and they got to be wide enough so that the wall is going to be here. So, I got to make them at least want to stick out about an inch. So, I got to have them four and a half inches at least, four and a half here, and then coming up. Then I'll screw to the wall. And this plate is five and a half inches, so it's going to work out good. There's four and a half here. And have it at least at least three inches up on the back. And that's better. So I'll take my one inch hole saw. Well actually this is one and an eighth. I'll drill a hole here, drill a hole here, and cut the excess out. But maybe first I should bend this here. Okay, I got the two pieces bent. I got them cut. Now I just drill, bring them over the drill press and pop some holes in them and cut the slots out here. I'll bring it back. Here, I get to use my new vise. See how that works. So anyway, according to my calculations, this is where I got a drill. Got my drill turned down to 600 RPMs. I might be a little fast, but we'll see. Okay, I got my hole drilled. Which I just wanted the radius in here, but now I'm going to cut down here, make my slot to fit the neck of the fire extinguisher. That's a minute. Let you do it. See if that fits around the fire extinguisher now. There. Perfect. You can see this here just slides right in. Right in the back. Fork stick out. I'll probably bend them up a little wee bit on the front just so it doesn't fall out. And then put a couple holes in the back here to mount it on the wall. Yeah, that'll work. I could buy them, but it's a lot more fun. Here, just make another one for the other fire extremists and there we go. 
there. So guys, so guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed the little uh, video. Just another thing made in the doghouse. I'd rather make it than buy it. It's more fun. All right, get out of the shop, make something. Who cares what it is? Just make something. Stay busy. Stay young. Bye now.